Hello Virgos and welcome to your August 2021 reading. So I meditated on your energy and what spirit wanted to talk to you about this month. The first card that came out is the two of ones. So that tells me that right now at the beginning of the month or maybe a bit last month, uh, you're at a fork on the road. You have this opening in front of you that is a bit outside of your comfort zone or a possibility that would bring you outside of your comfort zone. And for the period of the this month of August, let's say, for some of you it's going to be like a week, others it's going to be the whole month, but anyway, you're going to be in your head about it. Seven of Sword. So it's like I'm seeing this path in front of me, but here my mind is coming and telling me, yes, but, yes, but. Creating this prison, this mental prison around me. And then the third uh, card that came out is actually three car uh, four cards. And I have the Tower, Ace of Cup, the Devil, Eight of Wands. So the Eight of Wands, we know that that's when the movement aligned with the with our higher self, okay? And that's bang, 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 things happening finally and, and movement forward, okay? But first, what was putting you in your head, here we have the Devil. Then you've got that lightning of a tower, okay? And then you have that Ace of Cups. So it's like if confronting your devil, confronting your limiting beliefs that put you into this mental prison, looking at him and then opening yourself up to, because the tower, we have to understand that the tower will come down. It's like a clarity. And in the tarot, like the two first doors of enlightenment is the devil and the tower. So the first one being the, the devil, because you cannot rise in light without confronting uh, what is actually holding you down. Because that in, in, you're not li rising in light, you're just rising in la-la land. Okay? And then once you confront your devil, once you confront um, the limiting half-truths that you make your reality, um, of course the tower will come down. It's just logical, okay, to deconstruct what you try to construct based on that. And there you have an Ace of Cup. Uh, and of course, movement starts after. And if you look, you see those little uh, golden nuggets coming down. They're in the shape of the letter Yod. And you probably heard me, if you follow me for a while, you probably heard me describe that this shape of the letter Yod in the alphabet, the Hebrew alphabet, uh, means the finger of God, okay? Because every letter has a meaning. So that's why it's like a download. This way, this is what you got to do. Ah, oh, I see it. I'm receiving the download as the uh, tower crumbles. And you have the same thing with the Ace of Cup. You see those little Yod shapes. So... They're not like a drop with a round and a point. They're in the yod shape. So, <clears throat> same thing when we receive this extra cup of love, uh, fulfillment, peace, grace from the divine, okay, within ourselves, because we are allowing it to come in, we receive also downloads, because waters are our machine of communication from what we emanate and what we can uh, receive, okay? Intercept or capture with our own waters. So there you go, like releasing the devil right there. So under that two of wands, I have the ace of pentacle. And that's that new beginning, opportunity, that seed that you can perceive, but you're all in your head about it. And under that, I have the chariot, which tells me that that seed, in a way, is connected with your aspiration, with what your soul wants to do. But you're kind of 
reducing your own capacity to follow it. At that point, the chariot is stopped. As long as you're at the fork on the road, where are you going to bring your chariot? Are you going to bring him to follow that pentacle, that aspiration? Okay? Under that um, eight of sword, I have the seven of cups and the eight of cups. And under that, the three of wands. Leo had that card right here, all of a sudden. Uh, not all of a sudden, but he had at the same emplacement, okay? And that is the capacity to see uh, the arising, see what is coming towards us from our decisions. Oh my God, if I do this, it's actually going to be able to bring this towards me. So be as long as you're in your Eight of Swords, you're in this Seven of Cups where... Ah, I'm, I'm, I'm just projecting scenarios and sometimes they feel good, some other times they're god-awful, but, you know, I'm just in this cloud of unknowing, you know, just in this projection mode until I'm like, no, I'm going to take the wand that is in front of me, even if it asks me to go into the unknown, the moon. And there the guy has the wand. Leo has the same thing too. And that will actually open up the arising for me. I'm going to do it even if right now I, I uh, you know, my, uh, my fears, my old wounds and all of that are projecting all sorts of possibility about it. And I might be scared of it, but I'm going to do it. Okay. And on that, and it could be because... Like, yes, this month we have the new moon in Leo and we have a full moon in Aquarius, which is all about that aspiration. And that new moon in Leo is all about following our passion, what we want and all of that. And I know it's it has like Uranus somewhere in there. I don't remember exactly, but that can provoke, um, you know, a lot of chaos in our life. So, of course, the important thing is that you are following your aspiration. So that means your higher self. If you're following your higher self and breaking the boundaries of your limiting prison, then Uranus is on your side to break all of that and so on. Because this month it's possible because of the new moon in Aquarius that we get a beautiful glimpse because it takes six months, but a beautiful glimpse, understanding, download of what is our true purpose. So how we follow it, either we're going to have the push of the ego, but that is your decision this month. Under the um, tower devil and the ace of cup, because the tower had to come down to you. Uh, in order to for you to receive that ace of cup it's actually allowing you six of sword to turn a page on your life and serenely move to the next shore very close to leo's reading here and at the end my beautiful uh, virgo uh, you're going to be doing here i have justice that means you're going to rebalance your life, make a decision that is going to be just, that is going to be fair, and that is going to be emotionally intelligent. King of Cups. This is how I feel. This is who I am. And I'm actually acting upon it. It's like if your heart and your justice mind are going to be balanced after that. Let's clarify this. Uh, bottom of the deck, I have the Ten of Cups. So this is all about emotional fulfillment here. About our capacity to vibrate happiness, peace, and serenity in this world. So, of course, some of you are going to make like concrete decisions and actually moving physically. And others of you, it's going to be more of an inner shift which is going to change your outside anyway, okay? But um, it's either we act outside 
to uh, from inner understanding or we act inside and the outside will match it anyway let's clarify this for Virgos I call upon the divine I call upon the light I call upon the Holy Spirit Help me clarify this reading for Virgos for the month of August 2021. That tower and that devil will there's a good chance around the 22 of August around that full moon um, it's gonna become clear to you look at that two of wands let's look at that two of wands for Virgos all right ace of pentacle ace of pentacle there it is that's what I was saying and chariot chariot okay it's very hard to do that here I have the nine of uh, pentacle with it and that's you I think the moment you're gonna actually feel yourself as, you know what, I've got what it takes, I can do whatever, I am independent. Nine of Wands. I can take that extra uh, pentacle. That would bring me to a Ten of Pentacle. So that means that that pentacle is something that invested would actually bring you long-term fruits it is an engagement. Engagement in the sense, yes, of course, it can be a romantic engagement for all of you. But when we are engaging ourselves into something, is that we are going to invest uh, ourselves in it. And it's going to bring its fruits on a long term. Okay? All right. Let's look at that Eight of Swords, but you're in your head about it. Eight of Swords for Virgos. Eight of Swords for Virgos. I think it's, it's like if, for a lot of you, it's going to be your soul's purpose here. Page of Pentacle. You're in your head about taking and grabbing this Pentacle. King of Sword. King of Sword is all about mastering one's mind. And that is essential. King of Sword has this truth. It's really the throat chakra here. Okay? And it is, this is my truth. And the verb became flesh. This is with my aspiration this is who i truly am this is my plan my integrity my strategy king of sword my decision so we're talking decision here about grabbing this when you're not mastering your mind you're in your head your loss it's it's a bit crazy you know but here who am i who am I? Am I, you know, my wounds, my things like that? Or am I um, the chariot here? In a sense, or am I that soul having a human experience that knows exactly, that's the eight-pointed star of the star card, that knows exactly what my aspiration is and that can move forward with it and if you look here at the wings 
with that little spinning uh, toy here, you know. M stability in movement. The mind is stable even when things are changing and all of that because it is focused on its aspiration. That's the chariot. And that's why it's a success card, but the success is the side effect of that state of being. And here, by mastering your mind, when it comes to that new pentacle in your life, it's about that, putting you into that chariot so that you can be uh, moving forward. And so, of course, there's things that will have, what was limiting you will have to crumble. Your devil will have to crumble. You'll have to face it, crumble it, and grab that Ace of Cups. That means enhancing your intuition because that's true there that you're going to hear your soul that's going to tell you, yes, that's it. Whoops. Yeah, that's going to tell you, yes, grab this with the Pope. Do it. Make that decision. Let's clarify this for Virgos. Yeah. Queen of Cups. Temperance. So that you are emotionally ready to make that decision. Sometimes it's not a question that it is logical, illogical or whatever. Sometimes we have to be emotionally ready to make a decision. And that's what temperance is all about. That's why it's brewing two cups. It's the tempering through life, through experiences, through all of that, of the emotional vibration so that we can have here that's why it has a, the sun sign on its third eye so that we can have the clarity about the whole picture the whole situation and in your case about what is that pentacle exactly and who you are to be emotionally ready to face him and to allow this tower and this insight to come into you. Okay, let's look at, because here I have the Three of Swords. It's really when you're going to stop having your mind hurt you. Because its truth is what you've lived before or beliefs that you have or whatever. Okay? And that interferes creates uh, interference with that inner truth within yourself of your true uh, I am, of your true self, okay? Let's look at the Ace of Pentacles. What is that Ace of Pentacles for Virgo spirit? Okay, we have the repeat of the Eight of Swords. It's something that puts you in the, in the Eight of Swords, okay? But, oh, look at that judgment about it with the Emperor. So you're making one heck of a judgment on that pentacle. And it asks you to act upon it. That's your Emperor. That's your masculine side that's going to take that Emperor, that pentacle, and that's going to do something about it. But for it to be an emperor upright, you'll have to have that judgment coming in. So that means that that angel is actually going to trumpet it. It's going to impose a rise of vibration. And then everything that is distorted okay, will rise above from your unconscious up to the surface so you can face it. So you can make a judgment on it and take control. An emperor is not in a prison. An emperor is out of his, is, is not in a prison. He actually is the four kings, so he controls his mind, okay? So that tells me that there's going to be a decision, but you're gonna have to make judgment justice. You're gonna have to make one heck of a decision also, like Leo, uh, about your life. And it's gonna be about you taking charge of your reality of your life of what you want to invest and commit to chariot yeah
king of cups, king of cups, hangman. Okay, that chariot is not moving until you know and you master how you feel truly. So that means that you're not manipulated emotionally, that you are allowing that inspiration and to listen to that inspiration and to act and honor how you feel, King of Cups. It's emotional intelligence. So there is the key for you this month. So let's look at that Seven of Cups that becomes an Eight of Cup. Yeah. Because here, Ace of Sword, Tower. So I'm just going to put, cut there. So I'm going to take it here. And of course that will allow you Eight of Wands instead of Nine of Wands. Okay. And here I have the Six of Wands. Yeah, that balance. That acknowledgement. So... Yes, instead of being yes, but, and being lost in your, I'm dreaming, but I'm not doing anything about it because I'm afraid that it might not work. Bang, clarity comes with that tower, tower, tower. It's like if you have this huge awakening, download, oh my God, this is my aspiration. It's clear now three of wands and because it's clear it clears that cloud and opens up the three of wands and here is the ten of pentacle and that's what i was telling you that pentacle is a ten of pentacle it's something that you're going to invest yourself in and that is going to have an impact on the long term the fool you gotta have faith but there your head and your masculine side was handicapped or imprisoned because of your limiting beliefs here. And it's it, this decision cannot be a leap of, you know, hope. I hope it will work and I'm just going to go in it, you know. It has to be a leap of faith. So that means that that voice inside of you from your soul and you knowing that this is you has to be stronger than any other. So that's why King of Cups is there and King of Sword is there. When those two guys are working together, you're, you're walking in a sureness and fate. This is my truth and I am hearing it with every cell of my body. Okay, so of course that allows you Six of Sword to make that decision, but in peace and serenity. And here is the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands, Eight of Wands. Okay? So by doing this, of course, things will start moving. And your hangman of here, that is just waiting for you to get that, uh, that inner knowing and assurance, will release you because you will have had that enlightenment justice and king of cups the sun and the tree of cups you're going to bring joy happiness fulfillment this beautiful explosion of the solar plexus hint of course we have that new moon in leo and that full moon in Aquarius. So this month, I think everybody's going to have these strong winds, let's say, this strong influence of that structure of following your true self and making sure that it is your true self and not your ego, your wants and needs, but your true self. And that is going to be successful. So make sure you're not falling under his um, half-truths. All right? So, Virgos, I'm going to call this... Oh, my God. It's, it's like, a, yes, a big decision also, but... Um, it's an awakening 
it's a movement forward it's finding your purpose I'm gonna I'm gonna call it like that because if this is something that has been kind of foggy for you this month is the perfect opportunity to have it clear finding your purpose there you go Virgo I'm sending you all my love and light Thank you for watching, sharing, commenting uh, to help grow the channel. Of course, subscribe. Um, if you like, um, if you'd like to uh, have a private reading, then the description is below. There's an email to write to me and I'll write to you back with the information. Um, if you see a phone number in the comments, it's not me. It is somebody else even if the name looks like me um, and apart from that oh yes thank you for the ones of you who gave donations of course to thank you back on the full moon I do a special ceremony uh, to include all of you so that the universe can give you back what you need and uh, it's my way to thank you and so on this all my love and light and I'll see you next month Virgo